In this segment, we look at how the city of Evansville is continuing its progress toward a healthier and more connected city. The Greenway has gotten some upgrades, and the Bicycle and Pedestrian Connectivity Master Plan is being drafted and is still open for feedback from the community. The sustainability plan was about a three and a half year planning effort between um, Vandenberg, Warwick, and Henderson counties. The recommendations that came out of that plan are kind of uh, bird's, bird's eye level plans, um, big picture plans, um, and the bicycle and pedestrian plan will be more um, specific detailed projects. We began the planning project um, in March this year with our kickoff meeting with the steering committee. In June, the steering committee, instead of having one of their uh, regular meetings, they decided to go out and experience firsthand what it's like to be a cyclist on the streets in Evansville. Think, I mean, would, if you were by yourself, would you ride there as a bicyclist? No. The, the nice thing about having that big ride, wide right of way is there's a lot of room to put in things like bike lanes, um, you know, potentially cycle tracks, which are almost like trails um, on the street. Um, they spent probably about two hours uh, riding around town, um, riding along the Greenway, riding along existing bike routes, riding along streets that have been kind of recommended throughout the public involvement process that could be potential um, routes in the future. Um, and so they just wanted to get out and see what it's like to, to bicycle along, along the streets in Evansville. While this new project keeps moving forward, other parts of our trail system and walkways are being improved. When we say trail, I think in the city of Evansville, everybody thinks of the Pigeon Creek Greenway. Um, and so uh, our next project underway within the Parks Department is the Arts District High Rail, um, and most specifically the High Rail portion. Um, that will be a trail that is 12 feet wide, like the Greenway. It will run from Riverside to Walnut Street along 41, along um, the abandoned railroad track area. We've undergone a tremendous effort in the last um, two to three years to try and increase our corporate partnerships, our partnerships with individuals, uh, to provide increased amenities to all the park properties. Um, one of the most recent was the addition of the uh, bike repair stations to the Greenway. The uh, Parks and Recreation Department uh teamed up with Scheller's Fitness and Cycling Center here in Evansville to add three bicycle repair stations. And we've located those here at Sunset, one at Shirley James Memorial and the other at Garvin Park. It's pretty simple, uh, yet it's very helpful. This part here, you're able to uh, put your bicycle, elevate your bicycle so that if you, are, if you have to repair a tire or something, it, it serves as kind of a, a lift. The uh, seat would be up here, the uh, stem for the seat would fit in here and then your bike would be off the ground. Uh, there are numerous tools that can be used um, from screwdrivers to wrenches to Allen wrenches, whatever the case may be. If, if you need something to help repair uh, your bike, you would be able to most certainly find it here. Also another is a simple uh, air pump that you're able to, if you do fall into need of uh, an air for the tire, you're able to use this as well. It's so important to have those out there for the recreational user, but for all of those people who are a lot at this point, who use the Greenway for transportation purposes, for jobs, for doctor's appointments, for shopping, it's so important to them because that may be their one and only mode of transportation. The city of Evansville has about 6.75 miles of greenway uh, space uh, and uh, that goes from Sunset Park all the way to the Heidelback Canoe Launch. In the past year, at the beginning, uh, the end of 2013, beginning of 2014, we were able to add about 20 uh, park benches. Those were uh, manufactured from a local uh, company here in Evansville who, is, uh, who makes all their products out of recycled material. We're working on uh, drinking fountains uh, for the uh, Greenway as well. We recognize that especially during those hot summer months we need those. Those are something that are going to soon be coming to the Greenway. Evansville's North Main Street will also be getting a facelift. We're also doing a complete new streetscape from Division Street to Garvin Park uh, with a bike lane uh, and uh, wider sidewalks with trees and green space. The complete street will be different in different sections. 
This is more a commercial strip all the way from Division up to Franklin, Virginia, and Columbia. And then from Columbia North is more of a residential uh, streetscape. Well, this It's all about supporting the small businesses along here, along North Main, and hopefully new small business will open and to make Evansville healthier, to make you know have this lovely bike path to go all the way from the river, all the way to Garvin Park, and then back here all the way to West Franklin. So you have all this connectivity to tie business and health together in Evansville. If you have ideas to share about what you think should be included in the master plan, you still have a chance to contribute. Late October, early November, we're looking at having a, another public input session where people can come out and review the draft um, and make comments on recommendations that have been put in the plan. We have a project website, it's EvansvilleBikePedPlan.com. We also post information on the Evansville MPO's Facebook page. Once projects out of the plan begin to be implemented, it will provide people uh, more choices. Um, not just recreation choices, but more transportation choices. Um, they'll be able to safely ride their bikes from home to school or from home to work. 